Hello, in this video, we'll continue building the login system. In the last video, we created the Lambda for signing in. Now we'll build the API using the API gateway so we can execute the Lambda functions through HTTP requests. Log into your AWS console and search for API gateway in the search bar. Select it in the menu. Look for REST API and click Build. Select New API. Then give it a name like Login API. Click Create API to create it. In the Actions drop-down menu, click on Create New Resource. Give the resource a name like sign up and use sign up for the path. Click on create resource to complete the process. This will allow us to create our API endpoints under the alt resource path once we define them. Click on the resource that was created, then click on the actions dropdown and create a new method. Select Post in the drop-down under the resource and click on the check icon. On the right side, make sure Lambda function is selected for the integration type and the Lambda region is the region for your Lambda. For the Lambda function, type in the name of the Lambda that is used for creating accounts. Click Save to create the method. For the permissions alert, select OK so that AWS will apply the correct permissions for our API to call the Lambda. Now we have our first endpoint for our API. To test this, click on the Actions drop-down and deploy it. Select New Stage for the deployment stage, then give the stage a name like API. Click Deploy to complete the process. Now we can use the invoke URL provided to us to test. Open your Unreal Engine project and then enable the HTTP request for Blueprints plugin. Open the level blueprint and call event begin play if you do not have it. After, use the make a HTTP request node from the plugin. Select post for the method since the endpoint we created is a post request. Paste the invoke URL in the URL pin. If we take a look at the resources tab, the endpoint we want to use is slash sign up. So in the blueprint node, we need to add it at the end of the URL. For the params, create an empty map. For the headers, set the content type to application slash JSON. This indicates that we want to send a JSON object with the request. For the body, we need to pass in a JSON object with a username and password value. To do that, call the append node for strings. For the first slot, put the open query bracket. For the second slot, 
to open quote, username, close quote, colon, open quote, a valid email you want to use to test, close quote, then a comma. Click on add pin to create a new slot and do the same for the password. Remove the comma at the end and add a new pin for the closing curly bracket to end the JSON object. Set it as the body of the request. Then add the on complete callback. Click and hold on it, then drag on an empty spot. Select add event, then add custom event. Compile and save the level. If you're using the same email from earlier, make sure to delete it from the Cognito user pool so we can use it to create an account again. Refresh the list to make sure the account is not there. Now launch the Unreal Engine app. If we go back to Cognito and refresh the user's list, the account should be created again. Now let's finish creating the API. Go back to API Gateway. Click on the root. And open the Actions dropdown to create a new resource. Name it Confirm and leave the path the same as the name. Now click on Create Resource. Then create a new method. Select Post from the drop down menu under the Confirm Resource. Then click on the check icon. Make sure Lambda function is selected for the integration type and the Lambda region is the region for your Lambda. For the function, we want to use the one to confirm the account. Click Save and add the permissions. For the last endpoint, create a resource called Sign In. Then create a post method under it. Make sure Lambda function is selected for the integration type and the Lambda region is the region for your Lambda. This time, we want to use the Lambda for signing in. Click Save and add the permissions. That's all the endpoint we'll need. Now we just need to deploy it. In the Actions dropdown, click on Deploy API. Then select the stage that was created earlier and click Deploy. That's all for this video. In the next video, we'll connect everything together with the UI. If you find this helpful, give it a like, share, and subscribe to support the channel.